Hey y'all, Billy Thomas here, and on this video we're going to be taking a look at what we need to do in SQL Server on the import and export wizard when we're importing a text file and we got a data will be truncated error. Let's get to work. I have downloaded a file and put it in my downloads folder. It's called organizations-10,000. I'll put the link to this file I pulled off of the internet. And it's a great exercise because we basically have an unknown file here. I'm gonna open this up a couple different ways because anytime I'm importing data, I wanna look at it and try to understand what it is a little bit before I import it to see if I'm gonna have success. So first thing I'll do is I'll open it with Notepad and just look at it and say, okay, all right, it looks okay. And then the other thing I do, I can see that it is in fact tab delimited. So that's good. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna launch Excel and open up with Excel because a lot of times Excel will give me a good indication of what this thing might look like when I open it. So if I hit open, and I tell it to go into my downloads and I say, I want to look in my downloads at something that has a text file. There it is. And I hit open. Now it will ask me, it knows that it's delimited. So it's already got it marked and I'm going to say, okay, great. And it is tab delimited. And I'm just going to hit finish, not going to worry about the column data formats at this point. And then if I hit this corner and double click in between here, I can get a good look at the data. So there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. And if I look down here, there's 10,000 rows. There we go. Now we know what we're dealing with. I want to be sure not to save this when I'm coming in and out of it because that'll actually change the format. Now let's launch the SQL import export wizard. And that's how we're going to, that's the tool we're going to use to get data in and out of here. So we have the wizard here. We go next. Now the source, first thing it asks for is a source. When you're working with a TSV or a tab delimited file it could have a TXT, uh, uh, extension we just hit flat file source for the source data source then we go highlight the file so remember it was in my downloads it's called organizations-10000 and i would leave everything in here alone and hit next and then this lets you just take a a quick peek looks good to me and it is, it did identify that it has a delimiter of tab. So that's good. Next. Now, where are we going? We're going to go into SQL Server. So for me, that is this guy right here, Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL Server. And then I'm going to select my database as the data factory. Next. And a little slow, but it's coming. Now, this gives you the opportunity to put it into a table that is either the name of the file or you can give it your own name. So in this case, I'm gonna change the name here and just call it organizations. And hit preview, looks good. Next, and run immediately. Now, when I finish this, it goes through and it will tell us if we have any any errors and not to give it away but uh i want to I, I think we're going to end up with some errors here almost always on an unknown file you'll get some errors and you'll look if you click on messages this is very typical it says a, the data conversion for the column country return status four which means it truncated data I'm so glad this happened because I really need to show you how to fix this because it happens all the time. If I back up here, we're gonna go all the way back to where we defined it as a source. And in this guy right here where it says advanced, 
you have to pay attention to the column name that we were dealing with. And because I've already done this, I'm just going to save us some time. But there was actually several that I ran into this on. So it was in country. So I click on the country field. I'm going to change this from 50 to 100. I'm going to change description from 50 to 100. And I'm going to change industry from 50 to 100. Now, how do I know 100? Well, I actually profiled this data in Excel. Let me show you that really quick. If I go to Excel and open this guy up, and boom, 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 boom. And if you're getting an error, let's say on country, right? You, what you can do is do a length of that row. So equals length and go over and grab the field. Okay. And so the length is seven. Now we want to know what the length is for all of this, right? So we're going to hit copy. Then we're going to go down to the bottom of the list. Then we're going to have shift copy up and paste it. And then what we want to do next is just, we can do a sort here. And let me tell it to sort. And we want the largest. Okay, so we really could have gotten away with 51 for that column length. But you can profile each one of these columns to find out how big it was. I'm going ahead and just making them 100 so that I, you know, I have extra room. Then when I go back to the import export wizard, and let me see here, go back here where I left off. And I want to make sure that I've got, I've got two copies running. Hold on here. Let's get rid of this one. And okay. So this is where we left off. We set country, we set description, and we set industry to an output column width of 100 because at least what I showed you in the uh, country field, we saw it was you know 51 and this defaults to 50 and that's where your problem comes in. So if we hit next, 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 and finish now, it should go through. If we find another field that I missed here, it'll tell us in that truncate error and we can go back and fix it. Oh, we did. What do we got a problem with? Uh, the process cannot because it's using by another. That's another great message happens to me all the time because guess what? I left it open. So now there's two things, try, two processes trying to use it. Close this, don't save it. And let's come back and run it again. Let's go back. Kind of needs to re-serialize it. Trying to keep from having to have you watch the whole thing now since I am. Yeah. It's mad. No problem. If you see that, let's just start over. Easy enough. And it's probably good practice for you anyhow. So we launch the import export. Next. And we tell it it's a flat file source. We tell it where it's at. So into the downloads folder we go. Next. And then right here is where we have to go to advanced. We said organization 100. Just, oh, it was country. And that's 100. Description will make 100 and industry will make a hundred next next oop i get in a hurry but you got to tell it where you're going we're going to the database and which database going to data factory next Okay, and then we'll change the name here. Oop. Let's get this guy changed over. And next, 
and next and finish. Here we go. 50% in progress, executing. Warning, success. All right, what's our warning message? It says truncation, increase, organization, blah, 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 blah. It's just giving us a warning because of those uh, places that we increased. But it's saying 10,000 rows transferred. That is our record count. That's what we're looking for. Now, as always, we're going to actually go put our eyeballs on the data. So click your tables and refresh it so you can see that new one that we just brought in. Here we go. Organizations. It's this one. Uh, organizations was the one we just did. Select a thousand. All right. Looks good. So I'm looking at the columns. I'm looking at the data in the columns. Doesn't make sense. And one thing you can do real quick if you don't have millions of rows is just pull this guy off. The select top 1,000 so you can get your record count. And down here in the right corner, I see 10,000 rows, which is exactly what I was looking for. That is how you get a tab delimited file into SQL Server using the SQL import export wizard and how you fix the truncate error problem while you're doing it. I hope you found that video to be useful and helpful. And if you did, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the All Joy Data YouTube channel. And remember, it's all joy because working with data should make you smile.